guys, it's Rebecca. Thank you so much for joining me for today's video. Today's video is going to be my first update for my 2021 Project Pan roulette, roulette style. I Last month in December, I decided to start this new series in which I'm going to be do, doing a rolling uh, Project Pan roulette. Uh, and I have a list of 35 categories of different prompts and I'm gonna try to make my way through the whole list. Um, starting with the first 10 items it's gonna be kind of like a 10 item project pan but whatever i roll out i'm going to be bringing something in out of the list that i have left so um i am very excited because it's my first update and i was able to finish one item the item that i finished of course i forgot it to bring it um but the first item that i finished was for the category of a deluxe sample and for that i went with this a little mini bare minerals lipstick in the color notorious i think it's the oh my gosh i'm totally blanking out on the name and i looked it up for this video and 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 i completely forgot but this is what it looks like um as you guys can see i was able to use it all up i don't dig out of the bullet of lipsticks i feel like i've used enough whenever um i finish it to that point um i really enjoyed uh, oh, the Gen Nude lipstick. That's what the what this is called. Um, this color is no longer available. Bummer, because I loved it. It felt like a very glossy lip um, balm on my lips. It was very very comfortable. I wore it over. I'm wearing Kat Von D's um, Ludwig liquid lipstick, and I would wear this over that just to add a little bit more moisture into my lips. And I loved it. I loved how it looked. I loved how it looked like super glossy. It didn't move though, it wasn't slippery. I loved it. Uh, unfortunately, this is this particular shade is no longer available. And it's not like I would repurchase because I have like a, over 200 lip products, but um, I really enjoyed it. So glad to have the first update, have at least one empty, even though it was a little gimme. gimme. <laughs> but um, let's get started. So I'm going to just run over the next five, um, the next nine items. And most of them have quite a bit of progress. So. Uh, let me get situated here. For the category of a drugstore item, I picked this NYX um, Tinted Brow Mascara. It's a thing for your brows. This is opaque packaging. You can't see through it, uh, but it still like deposits pretty good amount of product onto my brows. Not my favorite. It's not the best color match. You can definitely see it on my brows, um, but I mean, I use it every day for work nobody cares what I look like at work. So um, I'm gonna keep using it until this is done. The next category was something yellow. And for that I went with this um, body spray from um, Sol de Janeiro. This is the Brazilian Crush body spray. I don't like this very much, um, but I made good progress. When I first started in, to, in December, I was up here and now I am down to here. I'm not surprised. I can go through the full size body sprays from Bath & Body Works. Um, or like Victoria's Secret in about three months. And those are 8.5 fluid ounces. And this is three ounces. So I'm not surprised that I was able to do that big of a, of a, like that much of a progress. That much of, why does it sound weird? I'm not surprised that I made this much progress. <laughs> uh, so this definitely will be finished by next update. It's funny because my mom hates how this smells. The other day I went to her house and she's like, oh, you're wearing that perfume again, aren't you? And it's funny because I hadn't used this in like a year because I, I like using these in the winter. I feel like it's a wintry scent. I know most people think it's a summer scent, but for me, it's winter. It's very sweet. Um, but she she could, she could remembered it. She was like, oh, you're wearing that ugly body spray again. Um, so this definitely does linger. It's not like other body sprays that kind of like the smell goes away. No, this one still, you smell the whole day. Um, I would never repurchase this on my own. This came in a gift set that I purchased last year as in 19 i mean 2019 the next category was something blue and for that i went with this first day beauty coconut skin smoothie priming moisturizer i use this as a primer slash moisturizer though i use a moisturizer underneath this so mainly i use it as a primer i guess you can say last update when i first put it in it was up here now i am down to here i'm thinking maybe two more updates and this will be done um now my favorite primer um, but I have it, I have to use it up. I'm just glad that I'll be able to finish it this year. The next category is something cha something that challenges you. And for that I went with this Bare Minerals um, 
loose eyeshadow in the color Star Starlight. I removed the sticker and I put it on top of the, of the lid here, but I'm gonna show you guys a picture of how this looks like because this has been sitting flat on my desk this whole time, like on my vanity, and I hit pan, meaning that I hit the bottom of the container. I just dipped the brush in there and I applied it directly to my eyes. Um, I am wearing it today. This is what I'm wearing on my eyelids. And I have several shades in my Panda palette that are mm, kind of similar-ish similar to this shade. So I figured instead of using those shades, I would use this because if I wait to use this eyeshadow until I finish the ones from my Panda palette, this was gonna be sitting here for a long time without any updates, without any progress. So I am very, very happy with the amount of progress that I made. Um, when you guys see the picture, I've used kind of like the top of the of the container. And so I'm gonna be working my way down. I kind of started focusing my, my brush on this side of the container and I've been working my way down. So hopefully this will last me just a few more months and then I can get it done on my out of my collection. And I'm, I'll be very excited because this is a loose eyeshadow and I've never used a loose one. So very, very excited for that one. The next um, item was a full size item. For that I went with this um, powder foundation. Sorry, I blanked out there from Urban Decay. This was brand new when I first put it in this project. And as you guys can see, I was able to hit pen. I'm not surprised. I love this powder foundation. This is like 30 some dollars. I thought it was like 22, but I went on and I looked at it on Urban Decay's website and this is $36. The presentation is different now. It's only, the compact is on now only this. I don't know if the sponge is underneath the compact, like if you can flip it up and down, but um, yeah, it's $36. This is a very, very good powder foundation, but I don't think it's like, justify that it's $36. My goodness, I purchased these when they changed the packaging. These went on sale and um, I bought them for like $10, $12. Um, so I stocked up, this is the last one that I have, but I love it, highly, highly recommend if you don't mind spending that much money, but it's really good, really good coverage. I think, I don't think I'll be having finished this by next update, maybe the one after that. The next item is something that you've avoided to pan and for that I went with this lip gloss from Kopari. I'm just not a fan of the Kopari lip glosses and I wanted to take a break because last year I used up two, but I decided to just get it over with and just pan it now. Um, if you guys see a picture, not a lot of progress, but I, this part has become a little skinnier. Um, it was a lot fuller when I put it in this project. So I do use it every night before I go to bed. Um, and this will last me a few months. So hopefully I can get this finished uh, maybe by April. I don't know, we'll see. My next item is something with bulky packaging and I went with this foundation from Tarte. This is the Empowered Hybrid Gel Foundation. And I love this foundation, guys. This foundation is so good. Um, this is what it looks like right now. You can't tell much, like a lot of, like a big difference. I've been really, I was really focused on using whatever product was on the, on the lid here. And a little bit goes a long way with this. Um, it has great coverage. It matches me pretty well. Um, but this is gonna take me a long, long time. I'm telling you guys, like I need like a pea size amount of product for my whole face because this has really good coverage and like it spreads, it like multiplies once it comes in contact with your skin or something. Um, it's really good, I love it. I don't know if this is still available, but if it is, you should totally get it because it's great. It's a great foundation. I am loving every single time I use this and I'm not gonna mind if this hangs, a lot, hangs around for a long time because I'm really, really enjoying it. The next category is something vegan. And for that, I went with a liquid lipstick from Kat Von D. I, it's the lipstick that I'm wearing on my lips. And I've already taken out the stopper. And I hope you guys can see, can you see there? Like, it, it's pretty see-through, but I can still get quite a bit of um, product from the sides of the tube. Um, if I put it against the light, like, you guys can even see. Um, you can see quite a bit. There's still product here that I can't reach, but there's still plenty of product on the wand itself and on the sides of the tube. So I, I am gonna continue using it up. This is another item that I think will be finished by next update. Um, and I'm happy to have uh, another product, another lip product out of my collection because 2021 is the year that I'm really gonna focus on my lip products. Even if they're like mini ones, I don't care. I want those numbers to go down. Um, but yeah, I am enjoying this one. The Kat Von D formula or KVD um, is, 
I think one of my favorite formulas, the one from Sephora is really good too. Uh, when it comes to liquid lipsticks, they're very comfortable and I don't mind working through that product. And the last item that I have here is a color in my birthstone. My birthstone is amethyst. And for that, I went with the powder from this Aurora Glow Kit from ABH. As you guys can see, the amethyst is a purpley color, so I went with packaging. So this one right here. And I am working on this um, highlighter right here. I expanded the pan just a tiny bit. Uh, the thing is, not that I used it a lot, but this formula is very, very... Um, soft and when i got this package in, in the mail it was broken so i did have to repress it uh that shade in particular so it, it's already soft as it is plus the repressing that doesn't help because it makes it softer uh but i did expand the pan quite a bit i'm kind of alternating using this highlighter with the highlighter in my pan that palette not optimal for how i like to pan things but i wasn't about to put this full size purple highlighter <laughs> on a project pan uh we'll see later on do you guys see like you guys see how i just by pushing it down i like fix the two little holes that i had here so it's very very soft formula um i'm gonna end up wasting some product i know because it kicks up a lot but it is what it is so anyway since i was able to finish one item i i am going to be rolling in another one and so i have my randomizer here on my computer uh from 1 through 25 because i am working on 10 items and the list originally had 35. So let's see what we get. And the number is number 24. Let's see. Now it's the, the category that I got is something that's from your zodiac sign. I am an Aquarius. I don't follow any of that astrology, but I know that I'm an Aquarius. Um, so something related to, I guess, water? This is gonna be hard. I'll be right back. Okay, that took me a lot longer than I wanted. <laughs> um, and I'm like, this is pretty far-fetched, but let's just work with me. So the category was something related to my zodiac sign, and my zodiac sign is Aquarius. And so I was like, something like sea, ocean, water themed. And I really wanted to pick a lip product because since I finished a lip product, I wanted to replace it with another lip product because I really want to work for in lip products for in 2021. Um, so I went with a lipstick from MAC and this is in the color cream cup because you drink water in a cup <laughs> that's my my logic anyway um, this is a pretty much a brand new lipstick I purchased this a long time ago because of Candy Johnson I'll give you guys a swatch um, that's the color right there it's a very nude color I think it's gonna be easy to wear uh, and kind of just like apply at home um, as a like a lip balm. Doesn't really smell like anything. It smells like a MAC lipstick. Um, so that is the color. I could even pair it with this uh, liquid lipstick. So that is the color that I'm gonna pick. And those are my 10 items. So thank you guys so much for joining me for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Wish me luck. Oh, and you guys that have been doing it on Instagram, you guys tagged me. I went ahead and I am going to put all the description stuff in the, in the, in the box downstairs. I mean, in the description box, uh, in case you guys want to do it rolling as well. Uh, you guys aren't stuck with my categories. If you guys want to do my categories, um, that's fine, but I figured we would be finishing different things. So I figured you guys could do it, you know, on your own with the categories as you finish whatever category you finish. I hope that makes sense. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.